Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I have a very exciting video for you, and I'm gonna be talking about how to sort of do an automation in Fairlight. And this is something that a lot of high-end uh, production houses or really any sound um, you know facility would do and, and that is automating the mixer or automating uh, a tracks volume based on what's going on on screen so we've probably all ran into that issue where you're trying to have the background music be balanced with someone speaking and it's really hard to like set a normal level or if you do like auto ducking it never sounds totally right so doing automation lets you manually move the mixer, uh, the mixer's volume up and down while things are going on so you can kind of react uh, to something naturally. So right here I have this video uh, that is basically a, uh, it's about a guy who does like vermicomposting and you can see there's a music track right here and there is a, you know, his dialogue track right here. And what I want to do is I want the music to you know, start normal volume at about negative 10, which is where this default track is, and then dip down as he starts speaking. So this is what it sounds like with, you know, no finishing. Obviously, we cannot hear his voice at all. Now, the solution would be to either use an auto ducking or something, and again, that's just going to cause a ton of problems, or just lower the volume, but then we get this. I'm Bill Richmond. I'm the owner and chief worm wrangler. So I'm going to bring him up a little bit anyway, but so obviously we don't get a sense of the music there, so we want this to move. Well, how do you do this in Fairlight? Because the thing about Fairlight you may not know is it is actually a full-on DAW, basically, um, things like Pro Tools. Now, I mean, people can argue, obviously, things like Pro Tools are much more in-depth, but Fairlight actually has a lot of really cool stuff, and you can do some really amazing things inside. So I'm going to show you how to automate this. So you want to make sure that your tracks are obviously separated, so your music, and I would get it all sort of ready to go on one track. I would normally have like an ending but, you know, uh, you're going to want to just get everything neat up and tidy and ready to go before you start this process. So, of course, if you're not in Fairlight page, go over to the Fairlight page. And you're going to click this little thing right here. Boop. Okay, so there's a few things we do. We can see this opens up a menu up here. There's a bunch of different buttons. And you might say, what is going on? There's a few things we want to change. Um, that is, first off, we want to turn the touch to off. And we want to change the on stop to hold. And of course, we want to make sure our fader is selected because we're doing fader. You could, of course, do any other things. So your EQ, gate, plugins, all that kind of stuff, and write. So write, off, hold, and in this case, fader, or you never know, do something else. Then down here on the track, we're going to want to click this little automation button and then make sure that fader level is selected. And then what you can see is that right now this little red line appears and our mixer over here turns red, which if you can't see the mixer, just click the little mixer button up here and that'll uh, make this open up. And now that means that we are ready to record our motion. So what I'll do is I'll click play and I will manually move this as I would want to and uh, go from there. So I'll let it play. I'll start moving it and you'll see what happens. I'm Bill Richmond. I'm the owner and chief worm wrangler of the Adirondack Worm Farm. We raise composting worms, red wigglers in particular, to process manure and other waste and turn it into a... Now, obviously, I wouldn't raise that back up there, so I'm just kind of showing it for part of the uh, demonstration. But now you can see there's this curve written here, and it's green, meaning you're not in the right mode. Um, and that is showing you what the music does. So now we can listen to it back again. I'm Bill Richmond. I'm the owner and chief worm wrangler of the Adirondack Worm Farm. Now, I probably should have gone a little lower, and I probably could have, you know, of course, I would have taken a little more time to make sure this was perfect, but I can always go back, and I can just click, uh, in, you know, in my case, the Mac Command Z, if I was like, oh, I don't like that, and then just re-click this, or you can also click the button over here, and I could just make sure I kind of start back at where I want, at zero, and let's try it again. I'm Bill Richmond. I'm the owner and chief worm wrangler of the Adirondack Worm Farm. We raise composting worms. Red and there you go. And because we have hold and we have uh, the touch off, that is letting this stay or holding wherever we finish, uh, which in my case is, I think, is a much better way to do it. Of course, there's other reasons why you might want to do that. Um, but you can see we could do something like pan. So we could go up to the first here. And let's say we wanted to pan uh, our left and right. Now, the only tricky part 
is that I don't have a way to actually pan this properly. So for instance, you can see, if I play this back, Wigglers in particular, to process manure and other waste. So I'm changing the actual fader, and you can see it changed that. So panning, let's do left and right pan. The problem is, to process manure and other you don't have the panner so that's one thing to keep in mind is that if you are going to be doing some of these other things you're going to need some type of console or way to do that of course davinci resolve or you know blackmagic design makes a uh, a fair light console it's, it's fairly expensive um, but really for most people i feel like doing something like volume is a big thing so automating this for like background music or just having something that's going to come in and out is very very handy so just to kind of recap remember it is all up at this automation button up here make sure it's the fader selected on hold and off and right and then of course whatever track you're on you just click the little automation or you can click it over here on the mixer and then you're ready to write. And of course, you could do multiples too at the same time. Again, if you had a console um, or some type of MIDI capability. But it's super handy. And this is a really great way to do music uh, and do like the auto ducking without the auto part <laughs> behind something. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. Or any other tips and tricks in Fairlight you want to know about, let us know. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.